Welcome to the new site PPTK video tutorial on how to create a rasterized image using the 1 to 8 warper. The first thing we need to do is create an import filter. In the project view, right click, add filter, input, image video import. Let's rename this filter color. Create another import filter, add filter, input, image video import, and rename this depth. You can drag these filter boxes just by simply left clicking and dragging in the viewport. Go to the color filter, file name, and locate your color image somewhere on your computer. Open, go to the depth filter, file name, and locate your depth information. To maximize the filters, you can double click on them. Zoom out using the mouse wheel. You can also hold down the mouse wheel to move the picture around. To switch between your filters, click this area to the left of the filter names. To get back to the project view, click this button here. Now we are ready to rasterize the image. Right click, add filter, 3D, 1 to 8 warper. Drag from the green section of the color filter to the first slot of the 1 to 8 warper. Drag from the section on the depth box to the second slot of the 1 to 8 warper. Double click the filter to get a better view. You can zoom out if you need to. Click disparity data and 8 bit integer. As you can see now, the 1 to 8 warper has created 8 different views from our single photograph. As you can see, as I move the slider, the flowers on the lower right move in a different direction than the flowers in the background. When viewed through a 3D monitor, these flowers will appear out screen while the flowers in the background will appear in screen. The point on this photograph that seems to move the least as I move the slider represents the focal plane and that on a 3D monitor is located on the screen level. The settings below allow us to make our picture more 3D, less 3D, or to find the zero plane of the image. For example, changing the 3D volume to zero will of course erase any 3D effect that we had previously. Put this back to 1, and it's back. By switching the zero plane adjust to a value of negative 5, this will push the entire photograph in screen when viewed on a 3D monitor. A value of positive 5 will push all the information out screen. Because everything in the photograph seems to move in the same direction, this means that a focal plane distinguishing between in screen and out screen is not easily to be seen. Put this back to zero. Show you the difference. To review, what the 1 to 8 warper has essentially done is assign the white area from the depth filter to what would appear closer to us in the color filter, and assign the black area and all the shades of gray in between to what appears farther away. The small black area in the lower right hand corner of this photograph is a normal occurrence with the combination of a depth map and 1 to 8 warper. To get rid of this, we'll use the resize crop filter. Click this button to get back to project view. Right click in the viewport, add filter, image, resize crop. Drag from the output of the 1 to 8 warper to the input of the resize crop. Click horizontal span vertical span and maintain aspect ratio. In the left box, input 10 pixels. This automatically takes 10 pixels from the left, 10 from the right, 7 from the top, and 8 from the bottom, all to keep our aspect ratio of 1.333. Click set to destination and let's resize our picture back to 1024. With this resize destination, you can either make your picture larger or smaller. Double click resize crop, zoom out. Now you can see that the small black area is no longer there. Now we need to add a 3D combination filter to rasterize the picture. Right click, add filter, 3D, 
the 3D combination. Drag from here to here and select the display that you have. In our case, this is New Sight 20 inch MultiView 82. As you can see here, we have started with one picture, moved to eight from the one to eight warper, still have eight in the resize crop, and now with a 3D combine, all those eight pictures has been brought together in a single rasterized picture. Now we can render our rasterized picture. Right click, add filter, output, bitmap export. Drag from here to here, specify file name. We'll call this image. File format, bitmap. We recommend using this file format because it's uncompressed. Compressing a rasterized picture will mess up its 3D information. Click Save. Once you have done this, you're ready to render. Go here to Render Frame, and it's done. You can now open your image from where it's been saved and view it on your 3D monitor. Thank you for watching this new site PPTK video tutorial on the 1 to 8 Warper.